Yes, sir. Does it affect him in any way, Ty? Have any good shot? You got to ask him, but I mean, it's his left hand, so that's a good sign for us. This is not his right hand. Um, so we'll see how he feels. Coach, anything about the pace which surprised you from those first two games, looking back on them? You know, um, they've been playing the same way all year. Um, they've been, they had a good team, you know, very well coached. Coach McMillan does a great job of being to those guys, making them tough, making them play physical. And they've been the same way all season. Is which team can control the level of physicality going to ultimately control this series? Well, and make shots. I mean, you can be physical. If you don't make shots, it don't matter. So, um, you know, being physical, you know, picking up full court, being aggressive, I think hitting bodies because they're a great offensive rebounding team. Um, but, you know, scoring the basketball is very important. Ty, how do you stress that to your team, you know, the guys not, not named LeBron, without putting too much pressure on them or making them feel that pressure? Um, just keep telling them, just showing them on film, you know, spots where we can be aggressive attacking the bas a basket. Um, you know, pick and rolls, we got to get down here versus their big, you know, DHOs or dribble handoffs, you know, coming off and turning the corner, being aggressive, getting into that paint because they're a help team. And then we can kick out, we can get shots and get threes. So you just got to be more aggressive attacking the basket and make them play us at the basket and then look for our shooters on the perimeter. What did you uh, remember about that comeback you guys had here in game three last year in the first round? I think we're down 26 going into the fourth. and. Um, Bron, Channing, and Corver um, got it going. I think Channing and Corver making a lot of threes. Our bench came in and played very well, and it was able to come back and win the game. Did Bron play the same defense that you had him doing last year in the playoffs, kind of that back line? Uh, the first game he wasn't. I think first game um, he started on Collison, but I think second game he was guarding Thad, and he was able to roam and kind of communicate and kind of be the quarterback of the defense on the back line. Do you like, you like him in that role? Yes. Are you kind of curious who's going to kind of step up and help LeBron? I mean, it seems like I know you got a lot of people who it could be, but. I mean, just as far as scoring the basketball, I mean, they, he's, I mean, the guys are helping LeBron as far as defensively. I think they're doing a great job. You know, we're asking Kevin to get out and blitz all the depot and then get back to the hole. So he's doing a lot of running around along with Nance. So defensively, I think we're doing a pretty good job. We just got to be better. Um, offensively, as far as attacking the basket, being aggressive, um, making the next play, driving their closeouts, things like that. Do you get and a playing, sense? And playing with more pace. Do you get a sense, though, that are you trying to convince them, you know, that, the, I mean, it kind of looks like the moment is too big for them. Is there anything you can <laughs> say to some of those guys to relax them or anything? No, I think they're fine. I think, you know, just getting adjusted to the playoffs and how it feels and how it feels to play on this team. You know, I think. Um, Rodney Hood having experience last year in G Hill, but playing on this team is a lot. It's a lot bigger, so they understand that. I think Clarkson and Larry Nance are doing a good job for their first time in the playoffs. So just got to continue to keep getting better. Everybody good? Thanks. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yes, sir.